the manhole it's your host dj kevin kev in this particular video guys we're going to be discussing trying to get your woman back after she done left you trying to get your woman back after she done left you now i'm gonna tell you from the jump there ain't no reason why you need to be trying to get a woman back after she done decide to leave you because obviously she done built up enough courage to leave you so if you try to get her back and if she come back then all you're doing is inviting the enemy back into your life because she is now has become an enemy enemy trust me man she she a woman will sit there and think of all the bad stuff that you've done to her and and yeah her feelings can be still involved she still can love you but eventually when that love wither away and she gets so comfortable with you until her feelings are no longer in the relationship all that stuff that you've done to her she's never going to forget it and, 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 and when you come back, oh, excuse me, when she come back to the relationship, then she's coming back at an advantage, especially if you down on your knees begging for the woman to come back. If you if you praying every night that she do return, then she's going to come back in the relationship at an advantage point, which meaning you're more in love with her than she is with you. Now, she can be still uh, have a high level of love for you, but your level might be just a little bit higher than hers. And then all that comes down to is her playing the waiting game with you. She just all she going to do is play the waiting game. That means not calling you. Waiting on you to call her and seeing who give in, not texting you, not not uh, not planning anything when it's time for y'all to get together. Yeah, she's just going to play the weight game. That's all she's going to do. And then here you go. You're going to be thinking to yourself, man, look, this is what I got to do for this woman. Oh, man, I should have been doing this. And then she, then once, once, you, once you stoop to that level where you now become, seem like you thirsty, you begging, you know, you chasing, you, you doing everything, then that's when she already knows she got you then. Then she's going to start to apply the pressure. Then that's when she's going to put you in the full court press. Yeah, she's gonna put some she's gonna put some full court pressure on your ass, and then you're gonna be wondering. And I'm telling you right now, she's not gonna forget the things that you did to her. Things that she think you did to her. And it could be some shit that you don't even realize you did. Now, if you cheat on her, then you definitely an enemy. Because eventually, when she get used to you, when her feelings are no longer involved with you as much as they used to, she's gonna go out and cheat on you. And, and, and she's not going to even think about, even have any kind of inkling of feeling bad about what she's doing because she's always going to uh, go, fall back on, look, I'm cheating in the name that he cheated on me. I'm cheating because he cheated on me. So I don't feel bad. That's what she's going to do. That's going to be her justification, guys. That's always going to be a justification. Now, if you didn't do some of the other things, maybe you were the type of guy that didn't have a job. Maybe you were the type of guy that was working all the time, whatever. Whatever she think you did wrong to make her feel, make her feelings change towards you or make her feel bad about things or feel like you've done her wrong, man, I'm telling you, she's not going to forget that. She ain't going to forget it. I don't care what you say, she's not going to forget it. And at that point, a lot of time when y'all let these women back into your life, you let her back into your finances, you let her back into your cohabitation, and then she had a lot of time. Man, I seen boys be with women for 10 years, cheat on a woman, and then go get married to the bra. Thinking that's going to make it better. No, nah, it ain't finna make it better. All you're doing is allowing the enemy into your camp. And then they're going to bring you down from the inside. The easiest way to bring a man down is from the inside, guys. Once they get inside information on you, then you're easy to bring down. That's why a woman want to manipulate you because they want to get the inside information. They want you to tell them where the secrets at. They want you to tell them what's in the account. They want you to tell them what's in your heart. That's what they want to do, guys. That's all. I, I mean, I ain't bull jiving with y'all, man. I ain't bull jiving at all. They want to get down to the, they want to get the inside information on you. And once they do that, then they can start operating with you. They can start finessing you. They can do everything they want to do, even though their own feelings might be involved. But all that means is that they just going to play the waiting game. 
play the waiting game until their feelings are no longer in the relationship, where they have a low level of love to the point where they just care about you. They're not in love. Then their tone of voice going to change, guys. Then their actions going to change. Then, you know, it's no longer, hey, baby, can I see your cell phone? No, it's going to be what you want to see my phone for. Then they're going to put a lock on the phone. Then next thing you know, they ain't going to be showing up uh, 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 like they normally do. They're not going to be coming home at on time. And some women, hell, they'll still do the same thing they've been doing. And you just won't know it because they'll be so secretive. They'll cross all the T's and dot all the I's just so you don't know it. That's why I say, man, that's why I say, once she gone, let her be gone. If you want to pray for something, guys, pray that your feelings get move away from the relationship. That's all. Pray that your feelings move away from the relationship. Don't never, ever pray for a woman to come back to you. Because nine times out of ten, if you pray, she lied to show up. Because prayer is strong. Belief is prompt, strong. The power of the tongue is strong. She just lied to show up. Then what you going to do? You're going to be all happy. Oh, man, she back, man. I ain't never doing that no more, man. I'm just going to, man, I'm going to be a real, I'm going to be a man now, man. I'm, I was childish back then. I'm going to be a real man. Oh, man, you ain't finna do nothing but set yourself up, man. That's all you finna do. You just finna set yourself up, and, and, and then you finna be in a hooker book. You just finna be in a hooker book. You just, uh, like John Lee said, you just, you lie to be in trouble, cool. You just lie to be in trouble. And that's exactly what you're going to be in. So once she gone, man, let her stay gone, bro. Go on and deal with the pain. Go on and deal with the misery. Just know, don't put yourself back in that situation. or back, Don't let your feelings get wrapped up in no brawl like that. And then just enjoy the fact that you're free once you're away from her. Because I can guarantee you, you'll find six, seven, eight, nine, ten women like her. I don't care how good that she swears she is. Because all women think they don't, think they a good woman. All women, especially when they start to get around that 35, that 35 all the way up until, you know, they hit the wall. They're going to they gonna swear by God. They're the best thing since sliced bread. Oh, yeah, man. I used to be, they'll, they'll tell you, oh, I used to be this way when I was young, but I done matured. I know what, what being a woman is and a lot of stuff I used to do. I don't do no more, man. Please don't believe that shit because, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that they don't do, but it's some new shit that they, that they done picked up. It's some new shit that they don't pick up. That's just how it is. But hey, man, I know it sounds like I'm hating on women, guys, but I'm not. Because if I had a daughter, I wouldn't tell her no different. Hey, man, you a woman. Go do your thing. Go do your thing. Just play the game like all the other women do. I don't hate women because of what they do. They supposed to do what they do. I tell y'all this all the time. I don't hate women because of what they do. I, don't, I love women. I do. I'm just not in love with now one of them. I, I'm just not in love, y'all. But all I'm telling you is that you need to get your own playbook and get your own offense to combat their defense. Or get your own defense to combat their offense. Don't let them give you the playbook because they're going to tell you to cater to women at all times. Most of them is. They're going to tell you that regardless of what you think. Regardless of what you think. So anyway, fellas. Don't ever pray for a woman to come back. Let her go. Let her stay gone and move on. And before I close, man, I just want to tell y'all, all the guys out there that's struggling from relationships and past relationships, maybe you've been struggling for a few years. Maybe you're trying to give up. Maybe you're thinking about giving up. Guys, don't give up. Just keep on moving, man. Keep putting one feet in front of the other. I know it seems like nobody don't care. I know you're probably suffering in silence. But trust me, man, everything is going to work out for you and everything is going to be all right. The next opportunity is around the corner. I want y'all to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.